And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frozen Challengers brand new deck that wanted to try. Basically what we're doing here is we're taking the Demacia midrange deck that I like a lot and adding in uh, Freljord into the deck. Uh, the main thing that we get here is a bunch of different Frostbite cards. You know, we have Brittle Steel, um, Flash Freeze, uh, and uh, harsh winds and the reason why we have all those is of course because of ash ash is really strong champion um and all the the frostbite cards should pair very well with the challenger cards that we're already playing in here like fiora and Laurent protege plus we get an, an additional challenger rhymefang wolf which is a really strong challenger as well so our three mana slots have three very good challenger creatures we of course have some more with like swift wing lancer and uh, fleet feather tracker um, Freljord also gives us access to Omen Hawk, so we get a second good one drop to be able to play um, in the deck, and and yeah, so it looks it looks pretty strong. Like we got we just got a lot of good stuff uh, as far as combat goes. Like this deck is is trying to dominate combat. Uh, speaking of combat, I was gonna play two single combats and then two brittle steels instead of just have another. Um, you know, another kind of removal spell that doesn't have to be in combat like that. So yeah, basically just good good pile of cards that that is trying to dominate the combat step. That's what our deck's trying to do. We're gonna go play some matches with it. Let's see how it does. We're gonna go play probably about ten matches. We only played seven matches of the Heimer Lux control because that video still lasted two hours with that. So just time wise, cut it off there. The spider's aggro should be shouldn't take too long. Should be a faster deck. I think I'm just gonna keep this. Like what we got going on here. Uh, we're facing. I should have looked to see what we're we were facing first. Uh, spooky Karma, I probably don't need Flash Freeze against. Basically, I, I would have kept the same, the 1, 2, 3, but I, I should have mulliganed the Flash Freeze. We don't really need that in this matchup. So immediately we draw two other Frostbite spells. That's not great. Always two steps ahead. At least they gained the three life when they're at twenty, so they didn't get any any extra life there. Man, this is really bad. I only I have two flash freezes and two brittle steels in the deck. But we only have two of each. And we've already drawn all, all four of those cards. That is quite bad for me. So we can't really punish them for that. Just don't have don't have the units. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Oh man, we have drawn so poorly. So the one the one thing about the frostbite stuff I've definitely noticed in in constructed is there's some decks that are just you know, control decks that don't focus on units, and then you just have like some dead cards here. Whatever the cost, I will play my part. Head to the 
Don't want to play the Laurent Protégé and then they just cast Ruination. You cannot escape. Protect House Laurent. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. This game's pretty over. We have no cards in hand, and they have nine cards in hand, and about to be ten in a flipped karma. All right, yeah, I don't even know why I'm playing this. You put it like that. That's just a waste of time. Let's move on to the next game. Should have Mulligand. That one card. I don't know if it would have made a difference though. Ezreal Draven. Cool little combination. Um, this is me not doing anything for a little bit. Let's get rid of one of the three mana challengers to try to diversify our hand. Didn't help too much. You name it, I'll nick it. Ouch. Smells like Ouch. Jack so they get a random spell from my deck, so it's most likely, you know, so that's just going to be like a frostbite card or a single combat, something like that, that they're going to be able to. They're going to be able to use here to keep my protege from killing their pickpocket. Not looking good. By my honor, you must well, I don't know. It's not, we're not in the worst spot. We're doing okay. All that just to do one damage. Guide our allies, my friend. I go ways to find me mushroom. That Lancer was a great draw. That's a big creature. <laughs> yeah, we're doing just fine. Look, 
I actually thought they were going to be... I thought they were going to be, um... Okay. Trying to use, like, one of these other things, then I could have flash freezed, but... I'll write my own story. I will unite the failure. Rude. Pretty good rummage. Still only frost bit one enemy. See I'm still like a in uniform. Faster than my arrow? I think not. <laughs> Drawn a whole lot of cards here recently. We were looking good having you know like having more cards in them just a little bit ago. This is gonna hurt for you. Excuse you. So making a suicide attack in so that I can play the Radiant Guardian. I think it's worth it to flip Ash. I think that's worth it. You know, obviously I wanted to play the Radiant Guardian this turn. Well, that's too bad. Got to take out the Ash and only use... You, you know, use a card that got to replace itself. I think they got this one. Pretty cool deck for our opponent. Pretty cool deck. Yeah, the concept of our deck is to try to Check me out. dominate combat with Time the combination of skill. challenger creatures and frostbite.
Just gonna play this Crystal Arrow that Ash made. It just replaces itself. Keeps them from attacking this turn. Ooh, that is good. I fight for the fallen. Virtue guides me. Do you have any suggestions for card draw that we should be playing? Because, yeah, a big part of that game was my opponent having all those progress days. Averrozen Sentry. Averos and Sentry would basically fit. It could fit like maybe where Omen Hawk is. So I don't know if I'd want it over. Um, over Bright Steel Protector or over War Chefs as far as other two two drops. take out protege because it overlaps with the wolf are we convinced the wolf is better than protege we're convinced that avaros and sentry is better than is better than protege like like just that two one that when it dies, we draw a card. That's gonna. That's gonna be better than Protege. I'm not sure about that. I think our deck's gonna be fine. But yeah, progress day. You know, especially multiple progress days. That, that is tough to. That is tough to compete with. True. I will unite the frail yard. Hmm. Faster than my arrow? I think not. As the arrow flies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I think our deck's gonna work out pretty well. I think that that last game, my opponent was playing a a very strong deck that that looked really good. Um, but I think overall, I think our deck's gonna play pretty well.
there, they were in a lot of trouble. But, um, I've, I'm, I'm not opposed to card draw if we can get like a, a big card draw effect. I, I don't think I have a Rosen Sentry's it. And I, I don't really know what would be with, with Freljord, Demacia. Maybe there was something. I just ha I haven't thought of anything. I don't think that Sentry's it though. We want a, a more impactful card. We already we already are okay with like our lower cost stuff. Like if there's some big card draw instead of like Cythria. Babbling Bjerg, because it'll draw Ash. Okay. It'll draw like Ash or like Radiant Guardian, but gives us another four drop. I could see. I could see that. Could see that. I will unite the frail yard. Thanks, Ash. Thanks for uniting the Frail Yards. The order rewards its fate. That's kind of you. Show me a target. Hey, what's that? Man overboard. In great beauty in the blade. I will play my part. I have no time for fools. All right, first fewer kill. This is probably going to be a pretty good turn for us. Um, it has not. No, I guess the coronavirus stuff hasn't like directly affected me. Besides, um, you know, like sports watching and everything. Uh, Take that. So we're gonna take this. Do I want to repost and kill Hecarim? The repost. Um, but I am stocked up on, on, you know, like food and everything. I don't, if, you know, if it gets worse, I don't have to leave my house for the next, you know, few months. Like I don't, you know, I don't have to leave, you know, cause work and everything. Cause I, you know, I'm just here streaming. 
Um, I got I got a lot of food. I got plenty of food for me for a while. So I'm good. I do not want them to get three Hecarims. That sounds bad. I don't need to go for like try try to get like this Fiora kill. I'm just gonna attack them and kill them. I think that makes more sense. And then try to risk Fiora dying. Hey Yud. Yeah, Fiora winning with no judgment. Could it almost had it. Almost had it. All right, Brutal Steel, a couple challengers, and a Lancer. Playing against Zed Hecarim. Kind of want a one or a two mana card. I'll keep the challengers, though. The challengers are very strong. I have six one drops, six two drops. Not the most. We're not going to always have a one or a two. There we go. That's a good one drop. Do not fear the shrouded path. Break their spirit and their sword. Really nice time for protege. They have like twin disciplines. I will unite the failures. Uh you know to give like plus three plus zero. Alright. That was that was a little rough. That skitter is really good. all this challenger stuff it's like what are they supposed to do Night falls. okay so let's Get rid of that, and I kind of want to get rid of my Omen Hawk. Like, what if we just... Yeah, I think we're going to fight the Omen Hawk. Is that even worth it? They don't get to draw two cards? 
That's probably not worth it. I'll let them draw two cards. I think we can probably do better with this single combat. I don't know. We would get the Omen Hawk out of the way. Which would be nice. It's a little up in the air, but yeah, there's generally agreed upon top tier decks. Like there's um, the Kinku Elusives is definitely right there. Um, and then, and then yeah, like different Hecarim decks. Um, but it, it is very up in the air, honestly. Ezreal Elnux is, is there. And we're gonna have we're gonna have a patch that up updates Wait. This thing has ephemeral. Let's have this fight this. We're gonna have a, a patch on Tuesday. You know, the monthly patch to update the cards and everything is going to happen on Tuesday. Um, so that's going to be really interesting. Probably get the announcement of exactly what's going to happen on Monday. Garen Rekindler taking the meta by storm. Um, I... Yeah, I've been playing a, a very similar deck that just doesn't have Rekindler that's just all Demacia that I really like, um, which is very, very close. Um, but then, yeah, and I, so I saw that people are doing that. I haven't I haven't really tried out Rekindler with it, honestly, myself. All right, so Ash is going to Frostbite this thing, so we're going to send that over there, and then we'll send the 3-2 over here. Here and the two two here. Alright, that's picking it up. Yeah, Garen's pretty awesome. Yeah. Leveling up Garen. Definitely awesome. Yeah, I'll send... If you haven't seen the... Because the, the Demacia deck is, is my, my favorite rank-up deck. And I, I have it just full-on Demacia. Nothing else. But it's... It's basically just like that Garen Rekindler deck. It's There it is right there. That's my favorite rank up deck. And it's my like favorite to play and everything too. I really like playing it. Karma Lux, good thing I checked. We do not need brittle steel. seen our war chefs too much I like war chefs a lot Basically, I just haven't found anything really worth splashing for yet. Hmm. 
in that deck, in the Demacia deck, you know, could splash for Rekindler. Just kind of scared of that. It's a huge mess now. Step like that. This Laurent Challenger. It's quite good. Laurent Protégé. Break their spirit and their sword. You call me the aha. Okay. That's good. I can use the Fleet Feather Tracker to challenge Laurent. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. And I'm putting that first because if they have. You know, like barrier and life steal, they only can go up to twenty. We can do this. Hmm. So they have Lux and five cards, and I have these things. And I have like these five total. So we're probably a little behind, but I'm hoping that this Swiftwing Lancer can take out Lux. Easier said than done. Because, you know, I'm sure they, they got all the prismatic barriers and twin disciplines and everything like that save your worlds we speak with blades i don't have to worry about ruination Will of Ionia is a mess. Gosh, Lux is so big. A 5 6? Ouch, that. That was devastating. These control decks do seem to be our, our tough matchup. Doesn't see, like we were kind of talking about, it doesn't seem like I have enough card draw for the, the control decks. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm too harem king. Um, yeah, I can definitely see those being some good changes. <laughs> We're just never going to be able to kill this thing. Literally never going to be able to kill it. Feels good. What they cannot see. I go unseen. For justice and all things bright. Gonna be tough. Smell that? A bite to cook it. I still have six cards over there. Feed Demacia. I'm going to wait for them to react before I start playing this stuff here. Let's see what they do. I won't stand by. really bad. I was planning on brittle stealing the Lux when I, whenever Lux was an 8-3. It's gonna like brittle steal and then single combat. Dread zero power. We'll give it a try. See if it works. Nope. I've come so far. Yeah, just 
just I just can't kill this Lux. Bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I did complain earlier about not not ever not drawing war shafts. I should not, because now all we're doing is drawing our two drops. Two drops are not powerful enough. To deal with oh, karma and lux. My shield is yours. Demacians protect each other. Not a good attack. I'm playing this so slowly too. I am very dead. Just, just kill us. I don't want to just concede, even though we have, you know, like a two percent chance of winning the game from here. But my opponent plays so slow. Not the worst, like losing, but losing to an opponent that plays so slow and into battle with hearts aglow. Shield up. Mm, a delicious challenge. Hey, Maz. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. Well, there's still she five can. cards over there. We're gonna try. I can't imagine they have nothing. Alright, done trying. So we struggle with control decks. Played against the two control decks and lost to both of them. What was our first loss? We started 0 and 1. But I don't remember what we played against. What cards in Noxus for a mid range type deck would you take as a must have? There probably isn't any. There probably isn't any Noxus card that's a must have in a mid range deck. I can't think of one. Yeah, I can't I can't really think of one. I will 
will unite the frail yard. Knocked and ready. Swiftly now. Let them eat so. Try me. Having Fiora pull the, the, you know, Fiora is zero power, but still having it pull the zero power ar Ice Veil Archer so that we get the five damage in, and so they don't get to block. If only Fiora see me now. She can. She's not impressed. We can use Fiora's repost here, get the three more damage in, and shuffle Fiora back into the deck. So we have that as another option of continuing to draw Fiora's for more repose. Please don't have ruination. I guess I guess I didn't need to play that five four because of ruination. They're not just slamming it. They will no match. Sweet. No ruination, no win. Alright, we're going to be playing 10 matches with our deck. We only played 7 with the Heimer Lux control because of how slow that deck was. That was still 2 hours to play the 7 matches. The 7 games. That was weird. Hecarim Elise Trindamir. I'll keep the champs. There we go. Get that curve. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you when you cast Troop of Elnux, you, you do shuffle like the deck gets shuffled whenever you cast Troop of Elnux. So it wasn't like they missed the ten and then they missed the next ten, you know. So it's not like they missed down 20 cards down. It could have been a lot of the same 10 cards. Hey, what's up, BJJ? Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, they got the perfects. I assume they're passing. Okay, no, so they're gonna let me play, or let me kill that. Which makes sense. So I could get a Fiora kill, but then they get a 4-4. Four, four. So the answer to that's probably no. I could trade Fiora for this 4-4. Four, four. 
you know, like attack with both and then trade. That may not be bad. These four cards are probably stronger than these four cards. Maybe not. Well, there's a good chance they are. I'll just pass for now. Yeah, they're... That works out pretty well. All the world on one arrow. Mm, a delicious challenge. Now I wish I would have traded the Fiora for a four four. How am I supposed to know which one of these 4-4s four is going to get frostbitten? How am I supposed to know? Is it just random? Because I need the frostbite one to get hit, you know, to have Fiora challenge the frostbite one and then the, this to challenge the other one. Swiftly now. Ah, use the eye. This wasn't bad. Now we got to trade Fiora for one of the 4-4s four plus a Mark of the Isles. Like, that's a good trade. Their creature wasn't even going to die. Like, it was still going to be a 4-1. Then they just sack the other one so that these don't trade. You can see the Nebastian border from here. That worked out very well for me. Yeah. Didn't work out as well now. All right, they got five cards. I got five cards. In a long path to get They're probably going to kill this Lancer. Or they're going to kill Sophia. That's alright, we'll take two for one. I think can't block. We're gonna just take the eight damage right now. I did. And we got the harsh winds. For the thrill of battle. For the thrill of battle.
not a very good chance that the turn to mirror yields. I guess they could have Reckoning. I don't just go straight to combat. Ash, I didn't expect this. Fate can be cruel. As the arrow flies, let them eat so. I guess I didn't even need to pull I didn't even need to pull that thing over because they couldn't couldn't block with it. Sweet. Yeah, I was just planning on killing them the next turn. Even with Trindamir being able to block. Um, but yeah, I probably should just hold the frost breath and kill the Trindamir anyway, but in case something went wrong, or at least try to kill Trindamir. This looks like a pretty decent hand. Yeah, it's basically the lethal board state. Because even even without me playing anything, I could have gone straight to combat and had lethal. This is a really good opening, being able to go Fleet Feather Tracker, um, turn one into Bright Seal Protector, turn two when you have the attack token on turn two. Um, and they played a one-drop creature like this. This is a really good opening sequence. <laughs> My favorite deck so far is the um, Demacia midrange. It's just 100% Demacia. That's my favorite deck right now. Which, which is, oh, I, can't uh, wait. I can get the list because I just uh, was talking about it with somebody else. So there it is right there. Honor guide me. That's been my favorite deck so far. I'm willing to trade my protector for their two drop. I'm willing to trade two drops here if they want. They do not want. Well, it's deep in the tank already on turn three. Got some slow opponents today. Let's make it deep. Two trades. Follow me. Look what you oh, this hurts. Be Demacia. Hmm. 
Fiora. I think, F yeah, probably Fiora. The more important champion for that deck. Yeah, probably Fiora. Jinx? Stands for Jinx? Star. All right, got Jinx out of here. Just you and me, fish bones. No way they attack, right? With me just passing and having all this mana up. I guess they do. Awesome. Six and three. So our deck seems awesome against other creature decks. We have so much good stuff against other creature decks. Um, but the the decks that don't really have creatures and are just playing a bunch of spells, that's where we, we're struggling. Yeah, Weston was talking about the the deck that that I linked Harem King, uh, my my Demacia deck. I could see just keeping the other Fiora, and having the second Fiora as a repost. Timo's cool. I like this picture of Timo more. I wish this was like the regular picture. Well then, a fight to cook it. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. A mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Try me. Glimpse beyond. No, no, mushrooms. There they go. Uh, don't you hate that when you get the champions? Like, this would be a 4-4 a because they Omen Hawk. So they should have another Teemo in hand. Because they've... They just played a Scribosaro crit in hand an ally that died this game. And Teemo was the only thing that died. So yeah, they get, they get a new Teemo. Slickly. And now this Teemo is going to flip. Day. My oh my, I am too off. Um. Feel the sizzle. We got a few tricks up our sleeve. See what they do here. Strike 
without worry. You're welcome, BJJ. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going down to one toughness with this stuff. Good draw. I'm just gonna let it die because I'll just take the 4 4 Fiora. I fight for the well, I'll play this this turn. And then next turn we'll have 7 mana so I can play Ash and Fiora and one, and I'll have one, one Flash Freeze. This deck's performing very well. Um, so far, uh, you can see we're, we're six and three, our record up here with the deck. Um, we have struggled more with the control decks, the decks that aren't really playing creatures, the decks that, that play a lot of units as well. We've been doing, we've been doing well against, but um, we've been doing really good in combat, but played a couple of decks that, that had a ton of spells and like progress days and you know things like that like control decks and that's what we struggled against all right so they're going to we're gonna pump this up to eat Banish the unworthy show me a target you're gonna eat this Fiora can eat mm. Yeah, we'll stick that. Yeah, this is this is my main job here, Bonin. Um I'm pretty comfortable wearing ties and stuff. I like how I look. I like to to look professional, and so that's why I wear ties while I'm working here on stream. So looks like they got a couple of tricks. I have one frostbite I can use. Deal one to all my stuff, and then three to Fiora. The time is right. Of course, single combat's an option. I'm gonna save single combat though. I've always been a fun guy. Oh. Right, my little wolfie was dying. Forgot about little wolfie. Oh, and then Ash was dying. Okay, I feel like I should have used single combat somewhere.
Definitely should have used single combat somewhere. Probably like Radiant Guardian keeping the Ash alive. That's probably it. Hey, Soul Farmer. Ouch. Ouch. This will be quick. That just wrecked me. Wow, did that wreck me? Okay, well, at least at least it died. Okay, so my Fiora didn't die, but still. Okay. Didn't wreck me as bad as I thought it did. First, I thought it was going to kill the Fiora also. Definitely been a really difficult card for me to beat so far. Progress day. Yeah, this is probably over now. Too many cards. We'll sit through as a good one. Good. Scrab of Sorrows made a Spiderling. Good. So we obviously have a lot better battlefield, but they got four cards besides the Mushroom Cloud in hand. Yuck. I have 10 damage here. They're at 11. Never mind. Now I have 7 damage, and they're at 12. Yeah, 
these progress days. Very similar kind of deck that we lost to before, but it was just this PNZ with with uh, Noxus, but it was a similar kind of deck of just a whole bunch of removal and progress days. And... Feel the sizzle. Nothing stands in our way. Oh, Can't bite on an empty stomach. Maybe we get lucky again. No puff caps. No. Alright, so we finished six and four. Nothing wrong going six and four over in Masters. And you know, we just saw we saw a whoa. You know, we saw a theme. If our opponents were playing, you know, with a powerful late game with a whole bunch of spells that they're playing, stuff like Ruination, Progress Day. Um, that kind of stuff it was really difficult to, to keep up with in the late game. But if they weren't, we were able to just grind them down with our challenger creatures. Like So for all the all the decks playing creatures and attacking and stuff like that, we were able to grind, grind them down with our challengers and our tricks and everything like that. So it was definitely a good deck and, and you know had a good record overall. I don't I don't know what to do really about the about the control matchup. We could have something like a War Mother's Call or a Bright Steel Formation. Yeah, I don't know. Play something like that. Like, like, do we want like Bright Steel Formation instead of Scythria at the top end, um, or a War Mother's Call at the top end? Just to, just to have, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there, there just isn't a good, there isn't a good card draw card though. But yes, we. We can't keep up with progress day. That's that's a kind of card that we don't have access to. In these these two regions, you know, like I have the Cythria as like a, a top end card, but we could replace that with something else. You know, a formation, a bright steel formation, or a war mother's call. Um, something to try to get the job done could play one judgment but that doesn't help the matchups we were talking about could play like a they who endure or a battle fury but again it's not really card draw for any of those a babbling bjerg would have a chance of drawing you know an ash a guardian or a lancer it just gives you that's a little bit of card draw but it's just a three three it's not anything special I, I wouldn't play two Cythria and one Bright Steel. That's that's too much. Like Cythria is not really better than Lancer or Radiant Guardian, honestly. Maybe it's better than Radiant Guardian. Like maybe maybe my deck doesn't need Radiant Guardian because we're good against the creature decks, and that's that's what Radiant Guardian's good against. I could see taking out Radiant Guardian. Because it does help out our good matchups. So maybe it's just maybe that makes it unnecessary. I guess we could go Vanguard Redeemer for for card draw. We could take out we could take out one of the one of the challengers here in the three drop slots and play Vanguard Redeemers. I like Vanguard Redeemer more than. Um, the sentry so that's an option taking out taking out radiant guardians is an option swiftwing lancer was amazing for us 
I would want to get a third Swiftwing Lancer. It was really, really good for us. This Lancer got to kill some bigger creatures that we couldn't normally kill. So I'll kind of I'll keep thinking about it, uh, but I think if I do take out Guardian, I want to I'm going to put in third Lancer for sure, because it was very good. And then you know the the last breath create an elite is good as well. Um, yeah, that's how we were actually creating a, a good amount. Of, you know, we created Sithria multiple times with the Lancer. So lots to think about it, but that's that's a. Uh... Yeah, that's some stuff to think about, but still definitely a good deck. Um, and again, it's like all, all sorts of uh, just a wide variety of aggro and mid-range decks. Basically everything but control. I really like where this deck's positioned. It's just how can we make it still not still very good in those matchups, but help out against control a little bit more. All right, but there we go. So that's Frozen Challengers. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know if you have any ideas of what you want me to do. Please leave a comment on YouTube. It really helps out. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Frozen Challengers and I'll see you for the next video.